Hello there everyone, welcome to the first uh, video where I'm going to be covering all of the cars in Need for Speed. Uh, I'm going to start right at the bottom, I'm going to start with the cheapest, work my way up through to the most expensive cars. So obviously we're going to start with the Volvo 242. Um, I'm going to be testing various things, I'm going to be making uh, charts with 0-60, uh, quarter mile times and uh, brake horsepower to see which one comes out on top. I shall be doing uh, course tests and drift tests as well, um, just to see, you know, which, which cars come out on top. Uh, mainly for you guys, but I'm also quite interested to see uh, what statistics I can come up with as well, because I like putting things in graphs. Uh, so without any further ado, let's uh, let's start with the Volvo. So the first thing I want to do with the Volvo is, uh, as well as all the other cars, is have a look at what upgrade options you've got. Um, Let's see what body kits we've got available for the Volvo. We've got one. Kind of makes the wheel arch a little bit longer. That's not really what I want. Uh, let's, let's tin out those windows. Uh, got some decent things in the way of, of uh, bonnets. Or hoods, as you call them in America, probably. I quite like that one. Makes it look a bit muscly. Let's go with the front bumper. Not much in the way of front bumpers. So you can either have slightly chromed or, uh, you know, all black. Uh, I think I'll go with slightly chrome. I quite like the slightly chrome look. Uh, diffusers. Uh, that's a bit better. Um, now, what the Volvo would have a kind of muscly kind of look. So I'm thinking this one. Uh, headlights. You can adjust the headlights in this. That's cool. It's one of the few cars where you can actually sort the headlights out. Uh, these two seem to be exactly the same. Exactly the same sort of price as well. I like the taped up rally look headlights. Uh, I like the spotlights. Um... Ooh, I'll go with the fog lights, I think. I quite like that. Supposed to be interesting to see if they actually work as lights as well, not just um, not just added features. Let's go for some nice looking wheel arches here. So, slightly extended. That's quite a nice one. I, I like the way it takes away the, the stripe on the side. Uh, carbon fibre. I don't think it really suits the look of the car, so I'll go with this one. Okay, I'll sort the wheels out at the end. There's side skirts. We've only got one style side skirt, that's fine, I'll take that. Oh, sorry, I've got the wing mirrors. Let's have a look at the wing mirrors. Chrome down the front. Mm. Not a big fan of the way these look, so I'm just going to stick with the, st the stock wing mirrors. Rear fenders. Um, let's go the same as what I've got on the front there. No tail lights, no rear canards. Let's go for a nice meaty exhaust. Mm, I think either that one or that one. Uh, I think I'll go with that one. That one looks, that one looks quite nice on this. Right, we'll go with. I'm not going to put a sound system in because I think that's pretty stupid. Uh, I don't really know which of these spoilers are the best. I think they look a bit stupid on this car. Might just go with a simple ducktail. If I put that on, I make it look a bit more like a drag car. It's not really what I'm going for. I don't know why it's restricted. Oh, because I've got a stock trunk lid, but I can't change the trunk lid. That's very odd. Uh, I'll have to look into that at some other point. Um, 
Oh, screw it. I think that looks alright. I'm going to go with that one. So we haven't got any trunk lids, but some of the spoilers were dependent on me not having... Oh, unless the trunk lid changes with the body kit. That, that might explain it. Okay, uh, let's... I like having the Rockport ones. I remember playing quite a lot of uh, Need for Most Wanted when I was a kid. I'll keep it simple. Let's come up with a nickname for the Volvo. Gramps. Kind of a nod to uh, Mice Car Mods, if any of you guys watch that. Uh, rear diffuser, yeah, that's fine. Okay, I think we're all good. It's slightly annoying that you can't change that, the door. So I don't want that, uh, look like, it looks like the stripe disappears on the front of the back, but then it stays in the middle. I'm not, not really a fan of that, but. Right, let's lower this thing. Let's see, uh, let's see what it looks like when it's lowered. Uh, I'm gonna keep that neutral. Let's go with really wide tyres. There we go. Now this is already starting to take a bit of shape. I'm not going to go too crazy on the camber. Because I think it looks pretty stupid when you have it all the way out, personally. On this, anyway. So, I'm pretty happy with the way this looks, actually, to be honest. Uh, yeah. Alright, I'm going to look through the wrap shop. Or the downloadable custom wraps and see what wraps I can get. Uh, okay, then, guys, I've just uh, just done the upgrades. Uh, just for the interest of, in fairness, for all of the cars I'm going to be testing, I've uh, I've upgraded them all to elite tuning. Uh, now, for the specific Volvo, I've put a different. Uh, the, only, the only real difference with elite tuning is the force induction here. There's there's there's, uh, there's several different force inductions you can go for. I personally went for the one which gave me the lowest, um, well, the, quick, the quickest, not just 60 times, sorry, because I had more into acceleration than anything else. And also, it's worth mentioning with these tests, um, for doing the grips and the drifts, I'll, just, I'll, I'll install the uh, Elite uh, grip tyres and I'll put the bar all the way over to grip for the, uh, for the normal races and then the drift tyres and then all the way over to drift for the, uh, the drift events. Okay, so as you can see, looking there, the 0 to 60 time is 1. Not, sorry, 1.93, which is actually quite a shock. I wasn't expecting it to get down that far. Uh, quarter mile on 8.83, so the sub 10 car. Vin Diesel and Paul Walker will be very happy with that. Top speed 228, it's not bad considering this is just a Volvo. Uh, I mean, the Honda NSX that I completed the story mode only did topped out at about 230, 235, I think. Uh, horsepower 684. That's uh, that's pretty. That's a pretty low number. Uh, I'm not expecting that to finish anywhere near the top, but that's um, that's, uh, that's not bad. Okay, so we've got our car. I've put the wrap on it. I've gone for a nice, uh, nice style sort of muscle car looking, uh, looking look, looky look. Uh, so let's take this out on this street. Uh, let's do. I'll find a uh, racing course uh, a track that I'm happy with doing over and over again that's not too long um, and we'll take it from there okay so the course that I have settled on to do is one called uh, once you go fast it's a small tight track which is designed for mainly acceleration um, not so much in the way of top speed but the handling is a big thing here. Uh, I've already run it once before recording this. Um, with max grip on, this is really, really hard. I mean, this car... I'm not sure if this is just this car or whether it's the game in general, but it's really, really difficult to control here. Hmm? 
It's not just me being terrible, I promise. Jesus Christ, the the understeer is fantastic. Uh, the brakes aren't much cop either. Uh, I mean, I'm pushing, putting the brakes on like fully. Not they're not doing anything. See, we're just going wide there. Cut the brakes. See, nothing, no braking at all. Slow down here. Missing all the apexes. Don't bother with the handbrake because you do the handbrake. For some reason, this game, when you use the handbrake, it, and it, it disables the ability to turn afterwards. So I used the handbrake then and I just went in a straight line afterwards. Doesn't make any sense to me personally. Uh, so I've, I've not done it, I've not done this with any other car on max drift, max grip setting. So I don't know if it's just this car being terrible, or whether it's just uh, the game's mechanics handling terrible. Anyway, I'm not not a big fan of the physics and handling in this game. Anyway, as it is, yeah, it's going so far wide. I can't hit any of these apexes. That was terrible. I was going to go well wide there, so I may as well just hit the handbrake. Jesus, it just goes a straight line. So sometimes the game just just doesn't register the wheel turning and just goes in a straight line. That's I'm not going to put another nap on now. Alright, so I'm gonna do uh I'm gonna do five of these for every car. So uh let's see how we get on uh, with the results at the end. Okay guys, I'm all done with the uh the grip tests. Uh let's uh, head back to the garage now and I've put it all the way over to the drift settings. So let's go and do a very basic sort of very easy drifting. Uh, I'll put all the results up for both these tests at the end of the video. So let's get into the drifting. Okay, so the drift event I have picked is you auto know. As uh, one of the first missions you get in the game, actually. Uh, it's probably the easiest drifting course, which is why I've uh, picked it for the purposes of this test. Okay, so this is uh, this is the third one on the, in this test. Uh, I'm having a couple of issues with the computers around here driving in the wrong direction. Um, Something that seems to happen a lot in this game is just random computers popping out of nowhere just to fuck up your race. And shitty uh, com opponents that just don't slow down for the corners, they just fucking plow right into the side of you. Uh, so I'm having the same problem with fuck's sake. Same problem with the drifting as I did with the uh, the grip uh, test. Uh, the car just seems to swing wide. What the fuck? The car just seems to swing wide quite a lot. Uh, either that or it's completely uncontrollable. God, these fucking computers. Uh, if if the computers that are going the other way have a really serious Im impact on the score, um, then obviously I won't count that score, I'll do the run again, but so far they seem to be just an annoying. I don't think they're causing a damage to the score, so we're alright at the moment. Uh, but once you get used to the handling on this thing, it actually doesn't handle too bad. Drift I mean, dr drift, the drifts are probably my favourite part of this game, um, when it goes right anyway. Sometimes you can execute a drift and then all of a sudden the car will just bolt off in a straight line. For no apparent reason. Um, it, what the fuck is that? Uh, uh, there we have it. Let's see, 133008. Yep, 
that's fairly in line with what I have so far. I'm going to do two more runs and then I'll, uh, I'll get to the results page. Okay guys, that concludes the testing for the Volvo. Um, I'm going to put, I'm going to come up with like a top 5 or top 10 for these cars. Because uh, obviously you can only hold 10 cars in your garage. Um, obviously the Volvo goes straight in at number 1. Probably the longest it's going to be there, considering the Volkswagen Golf is next, and it's quite a good car. Um, so yeah, I'll do a top five. If I like more than five cars and I want to keep them, I may delete some of the cars that I used to get through the career. Uh, hopefully not, though, because I spent quite a lot of time and effort on those cars. Uh, right, okay, so uh, I'll get to the results in just one second. If you liked this, please make sure to leave a like, um, and I'll, I'll make... I'll, well, I'm going to continue the series anyway, because I think it will be really good for me. Because uh, I want to do the list anyway, so regardless of whether I put this on YouTube, it's going to you know, it's going to be written down on my notepad that I've got with me here anyway. Uh, so, okay, let's get to the results, shall we? Right, let's get into the meat of it. Uh, I think that the Volvo, surprisingly so, is quite quick from 0-60. That's not a bad quarter mile time either. Uh, top speed? That's not bad either. The brake horsepower is lacking a little bit, but we've got nothing to compare it to. Okay, so obviously the first car in the drift, uh, the sorry, the grip test, 29.76 seconds. Again, nothing to compare it to just yet. I'll come at some sort of chart for the next one. Uh, problems with the understeer really, really hurt this car. Uh, drifting, 119,527. Uh, These are all averages, by the way, guys. Um, so I did five tests found an average in the middle there somewhere uh, so yeah not bad uh, so that, in that concludes my entire test for the Volvo 242 uh, it, the, it, it, all of these videos aren't going to be this long uh, I just want to point that out because I won't have to show you the guys that I'm putting the tuning on I won't have to uh, show you the, the grip settings the drift settings I'll just be able to go from one test to the next I won't have to show you much now, uh, just this video, introing the series, is, uh, is what I have to do, unfortunately. Um, so the next one up is the Volkswagen Golf. Uh, looking forward to that one. I've not personally tried it yet. I do think it will be quite a lot better than the Volvo, though. Uh, so, yeah. Like, like I said earlier, guys, if you leave me a like and a subscribe, follow me on all my social media. Give me suggestions. If you think I'm doing the wrong course, just let me know. Uh, I put all of the pictures on Instagram before I put the videos on YouTube so you can see the car before I, I do the tests. Uh, so if you want a sneak peek of what I'm doing, then uh, have a look at my Instagram. Cool, thank you very much guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.